Ow! <laughs> A little butt munch. Good morning guys, so it is finally a beautiful day here in central Wisconsin. I came down to do a talk to the Madison Area Herpetological Society. Great group of people, it was a great talk. But as always, when I come to an area to do a talk like this to the Herp Society, I always have to go see what the local reptile populations are doing, and that's what I'm doing here. So I'm in central Wisconsin on this protected prairie area. There should be some good stuff. The past couple of days have been really cloudy and rainy, and again, cold day followed by warm day is a perfect scenario for all the critters to come out. So I've climbed up this huge bluff here and I'm a little winded actually, but check this out. Here's a cave in the limestone and somebody is using this. That's all worn down here and it goes all the way back. I don't see any bats, which I kind of expected to see, but still a cool little cave right here in the limestone bluff. So I'm just gonna walk around this little area here and see what critters might be hanging out. All right, so I've kind of found myself coming off this bluff and um, yeah. There's no real good way down, and the way that I came is all the way over there. But, as you can see, this is all tangled vines with thorns. And I would have to go all the way down there, come around that point, and then come all the way back out here. Or, I can just go right through the thorny vines. And I'm wearing shorts, so do I go way out of my way, or do I be lazy? and go right through the thorny vines. Hmm. Ow, 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 this was not a good decision. Ow, 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 ah, oh, jeez, oh, oh man. Oh boy, not, not good, not good. Ow, ooh, ow, ee, ouch, dang it. Ah, the joys of laziness, whoa. And right, I'm in the clear now, hail to laziness. I didn't even get cut up. So anyway, <sighs> on with the search. What you got there? Oh, just a racer. Just a racer. Boom, boom. Yeah. But racers are cool. That's a big one. Yeah. Wow. Have a nice one. Yeah. Where was He's he? Starting to shed. He was right in that brush pile. Right, there. right in the brush pile. I climbed that whole bluff, got <laughs> scraped up, came down to the nice soft grass, and <laughs> these guys are finding snakes. <laughs> That's great. These are great snakes. Totally in shed. All right, guys, this is a blue racer. These are fast snakes and they live up to their name. These have kind of been reclassified lately as North American racers. I disagree with that. Don't you? I think you do too, right? And he's saying, yeah. I could do a whole vlog on the modern reclassification of North American snakes. And maybe I will one day, but to me, these guys are always going to be blue racers and your counterparts are gonna be yellow belly racers and so on and so on. Ow! <laughs> a little butt munch? All right, so he just gave me a little kiss on the lips, so he's getting pretty agitated. So I'm gonna let him go back to this prairie where he's gonna make a really good living eating all the skinks in this area, hunting frogs, and yeah, even eating other snakes. All right, little dude. Go on. All right, guys. So one of the reasons why we came out here was to find one of the endangered species here in Wisconsin, and it's the ornate box turtle. It's pretty common throughout its range, but here in Wisconsin, 
these guys are endangered. But to walk this prairie and actually find one here is incredible. What's doubly incredible is to find them mating. This is the first time I have ever witnessed this in the wild. And to think that here in Wisconsin where these things are endangered, to actually see this for the first time in a place like this is absolutely insane. This is so awesome. As you can see on her back is a transmitter so the Wisconsin DNR is tracking every one of these turtles to see what they're doing how they're earning a living out here so that they can better understand to better protect this endangered species here in Wisconsin this is absolutely incredible to witness this in the wild especially here in Wisconsin where these are endangered so in all the years that I have been roaming the earth looking for reptiles there are certain moments where Oh man, it just kind of takes your breath away because what you're witnessing is so rare to see in the wild and that was one of them. Endangered ornate box turtles actually mating here in the wild in Wisconsin. That, that was just amazing. I mean, just absolutely amazing. So you might be asking yourself why the male was laying on his back like that behind her. Well, when you're trying to mount a female that has a hunchback like a turtle, chances are sometimes you're just gonna fall off. And that's what he did, but he kept doing his job like a trooper, which means that in a couple of months from now, there's gonna be an entire new generation of ornate box turtles wandering around this prairie. Nature, you are awesome. So I've climbed up to the top of this bluff to try to see a Wisconsin timber rattlesnake. I'm a little bit winded, but not too bad, but this is the worst time of year to come up to these bluffs and look for timbers because all of the males and the females that aren't pregnant or gravid are all down in the, in the forest valleys. They don't stay up on the bluffs in the summertime and the only rattlesnakes that stay on the bluffs where they hibernate are the females that are pregnant. Again, it's called gravid. And we're a couple of weeks before all these gravid snakes have their young and people think that snakes don't give any maternal care to their babies and well it's just simply not true what these rattlesnakes will do is they will have their brood their young their litter and they will stay with those babies until they've had their first shed because when the babies have their first shed that means all the yolk in their belly is being uh, absorbed and those babies are going to be very hungry soon for food so Within that amount of time that they're absorbing their yolk, the mother stays with them, but then she'll leave. And to somebody who isn't really paying close attention to what these snakes are doing, they'll say, well, the mother doesn't give any care to the baby. She just left. But that's not true. What she's doing is she's laying scent trails for the babies to follow down to a food source. So that what the babies do is when they're hungry, when they've absorbed that yolk and they're looking for their first meal, they follow that super highway that their mother left of that scent trail right to a food source and they eat and they grow and they come right back to this bluff to hibernate and then do the same thing every single year. So it's amazingly awesome how it all works. But I don't think I'm going to see a timber up here because it is simply the worst time of year for them to be here, but it's not going to stop me from looking. All right, so just like I suspected, no timbers up here but you know you got to get up here and you got to see because if you do see one up here well that's just that's just swell anyway it's so worth the climb and it's really good exercise it's a great way to stay in shape so now i've got to climb down this bluff which climbing down you would think is so much easier than climbing up but it's not because this um whoa 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 whoa, whoa. the soil is very loose and it's very rocky and we all know how good my footing is on situations like this. But just to give a little bit of perspective as to how high up we are, check this out. That right there is where we parked. And we walked all this way, walked down here, and right up to this bluff. So that is how far I have to go yet. So the trick to getting down a bluff like this 
kind of go sideways, not straight down. Just kind of put your feet kind of parallel to the ground and just easy. Easy. Or you can just do the other option, which is to tuck and roll. how you get off the bluff. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. Get the hell out of my chair, you damn hippie. Fine, jeez, don't have a cow, man. Don't have a, did you really just say that? <sighs> what a pee whack. All right, where was I? Mike, thank yeah. you. Yeah, thank sure. you so much. Yeah, Great right. day in the field, hey, sir. Nice Great meeting you. you. Anytime. Thank you. We Thank you. you we'll see you on YouTube, man. Yep. See you. All right. <laughs> thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate okay. it. It was a great day. Okay. Thanks. Right. right Hopefully, on. we'll see you again. You will. You will. All right, guys. Take care. It was so great to get out with such a great group of guys and such dedicated reptile enthusiasts. That's what makes this really fun is to get out here with a group of guys like this. But anyway, now that I am completely stinky and smell like the river and my speed stick has completely failed me, I'm going to drive two hours to the other side of Wisconsin to film uh, with Pam and Dwayne Nimmer. We're going to do a Lichianus episode for the Reptile Channel. So guys, sorry about my stench in advance, but you know. So tomorrow is Sewer Fest, which is Wisconsin's largest reptile expo. So I'm going to take you guys with me. And until then, love the planet, keep your life in balance, and rattle on.